Okay, why you should go at the Philippines now? Um, the motivation for this has to come from yourself. Um, it can be driven from talking to people like myself that have actually already done it. But the main drive has to come from yourself on why you're doing it. Now, when I did it, I basically had gone out there for a two week holiday, met my now wife April, and then just decided to do it. Um, basically sold everything and just went. Now, for a lot of people that is high risk and not recommended, but at the same time, um, I was looking for a change. I'm a little bit different than most people because I'm used to traveling. So I've been stuck in a bit of a rut in the UK. I hadn't traveled much lately. It was grinding me down a bit. I was I sort of lost my interest in most things um, because it wasn't heading in any direction. So it gave me back my focus. Uh, the time out in the Philippines put me back on the lifestyle I wanted and in the direction I wanted to go. And that's why I'm a strong believer in doing it. But I wouldn't tell you to sell everything unless you're um, able to hit the ground running the same way I do. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. When I went out there for the first time, met April, we got married, went back, put my notice in, quit work, six weeks, I was back in the Philippines. Went to the Philippines for, I think it was four months. Then I went back to the UK um, to build up some cash flow. And I had no car now, I had nothing. So I got an agency job and I was jet washing um, Eurofighter parts, um, you know, for the fighter jet. And I was covered in this purple cleansing liquid, because liquid, it's where it's come out of the press and they put this uh, stuff on it to stop it uh, sticking to the press, etc. So it's jet washing all the crap off. This purple liquid's in your nose, it's in your eyes, it's in your, you know, you're covered in it. You're soaking wet for 14 hours a day because I worked overtime every day. Um, but I did that for three weeks. At the end of the three weeks, I spent all the money buying a car. I bought this car. The car got me back into the work I normally do. And... Did that for three, four months, then went back to the Philippines. The motivation being is by now I had my base in the Philippines. That's why I say about having a base, because the base gives you a drive. The drive being that is home. You're going home. Um, if you have no base, you might put things off and think, I'll work another month or whatever. But the focus being uh, for me is going back to our base, going back to our home, being back with my wife. And that's the bit you need to develop. Why are you doing it? Um, once you get out there, um, you're either going to love the Philippines or hate it. Um, and I would say it's not for everybody. And it's the type of life we do um, is not for everybody. But I'm not a bricks and mortar person. I, you know, I look at what people invest in property and stuff to live in. And I just see they gave up 25 years of their life. Now that's up to them, that's their choice. But for me, I'm not a guy that goes in and think, oh, I want some Laura Ashley wallpaper this, this month, or I'm gonna do this, gonna do that. I'm not driven that way. My, my drive is like, going to Germany for Christmas and letting the kids see the beauty of Germany in the winter, because it's amazing. Um, the kids seeing Spain, you know, going outdoors and the beaches at the, on the doorstep. These are things kids remember. These are things my wife remembers. These are things that I love. Um, take my mother-in-law to the Vatican is on the list. It's all driven by the same thing that drove me to the Philippines. The fact is, I wanted to drive change. I want to change a life. I don't want this nine to five. I don't want to be Monday to Friday and then sitting around at the weekend, which I'm doing currently because the cost of the flights at the minute. But I could sit here and grumble about it or 
aim to change it and I aim to change it. Um, short term, I'm stuck with it. Long term, I'm not. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment and things will develop over time. Um, not today, not tomorrow, maybe three months, six months, 12 months, but they're all happening. Um, and this is the, the driving force here. If you're just working, look at what else you can do. Uh, my independence come from understanding the fact that I can make money online. Um, making that money online meant I could live in the Philippines and I didn't have to make a lot of money because when I first went to the Philippines, I was <laughs> I could live on a month's way, a month, live a month with me and my, me and April before we had the kids on the same amount I would earn in a day in the UK. Um, that's what I can say on that because you adapt to whatever your lifestyle is and some people go I can't do that well I could at the time uh, these days I'm a bit more uh, expensive <laughs> I like I like going out to nice restaurants with a wife I like um, spending money on my kids I like uh, I like the good life but as you see here, my good life is not about the materialistic nonsense. It's about going to a nice restaurant where my wife can have amazing food. And it's a moment in life. It's not an iPhone. It's not something uh, that we don't really need. We, it's something we enjoy. Um, Phones are momentary. Laptops, PCs. I like my computers, but my main PC at the in the in Spain at the moment doesn't even have a independent graphics card. What it does have is sixteen gig of memory and everything else up to super speed, um, because it's for spreadsheets. I haven't invested three hundred pounds in a graphics card because I don't play games. Um, so it's all about perspective and you'll see like now I'm about to go and have a shave and stuff because uh, I've got an eye appointment today I've actually I have to admit I'm actually needing glasses which is bizarre because it's just dropped quite quickly in the last month um, where I've been struggling to read drawings so like that it's just do it and that's what I say with anything just do it um, the only person holding you back is you and going out to the Philippines I say do it um, it will take you out of your comfort zone but it will put things in perspective um, because you can make that decision I, I noticed um, somebody was mentioning today the fact they don't like the Philippines because it's too busy etc etc but the fact is you've done that now you already realize that the Philippines isn't for you but the motivation now is to find somewhere that it is. And that's the important bit, is finding what makes you happy. For me, Spain or France is where I want to be. Um, probably stay in Spain because I'm loving it. The food's all there and everything else. And we're not far from the border of France. Um, I also love Germany. Um, but the winters are a bit cold. <laughs> so it's just something to think about but I would say sit down there and write down why you want to go to the Philippines what is it that's gonna you believe it's gonna do what is gonna change on your perspective is it gonna open your thoughts up a bit is it gonna make you realize there's more to life because for me it does um, now my entire childhood involved traveling um, so being stagnant in the UK for years, um, it was getting me down. No, not depressed, but it's just like, you know, you know something's missing. You know, it's like um, you're getting itchy feet to travel. And now this, this year, I'm between the UK and Spain. But like I said, I've already put Germany on the map for this year. We're, we're going to see the um, Christmas. So... And then we'll also go to Madrid and 
take my son on the train. But the thing with the Philippines is it's not for everybody, but don't just assume it's about the Philippines. It's much bigger than that. It's about getting you to see there is other options out there and there's a lot of things to be doing. There's a lot of things to experience, a lot of things to see, but the Philippines will change your perspective.